So a rung rate used to be a promoter as well. Very, very accomplished athlete. The Australian Combat Sports Academy has strong connections to Keep on Tip as well. And the action right underway here. Yeah, very no feeling out process. The boys straight into it, locked straight into the clinch, and, and there's some heavy knees coming here. Yeah, and you see Jordan in the blue, the white shorts, trying to get around the back of Ryan Torelli. The dominance MMA athlete moving into Southpaw. Yeah, interesting to see, as we see again, he's just chopping that back leg. You know, the, the orthodox fighter not used to having that, that back leg chopped away. So an interesting start here. Jordan also trying to grab that leg as well. We'll see how it plays out. Some hard hits from Ryan Torelli in the black and red. Just sitting on the ropes mm. there, Torelli. Calm as day, second fight in. They don't look like they've had no fight and two fights here, so they just get broken up there. Yeah, usually when the athletes are up against the ropes, it's very difficult to get any good positions. So normally experienced referees like we have in the ring will break the athletes up. Jordan continuing to press forward, now aiming at that rear leg of Torelli's. Oof, a little bit of a sweep there. Oh, solid body shot there from Torelli. Yeah, he's, he's, he's starting, he's shooting first here, Torelli. He's, he's the south fort, as you see the catch trying to get the takedown unsuccessfully. But he's being first to, to come forward and he's sort of controlling the pace here a little bit. Yeah, again, Jordan going for that catch, but can't quite get a firm enough grip. He, I think he needs to latch onto it a bit tighter and really pull on it as well. Ooh, excellent knee right up the middle from Torelli. Yeah, and he's not scared to look for those elbows, changing the knees down low, up high. He's got a good position there, Jordan, but moved into a stall just up against the corner. And Stewart just good high guard, mm. looking for those low kicks. It is a three-round fight, so he, he might need to pick up his urgency. Every round counts. Yeah, both athletes have been using that those short upward elbows. Definitely like them. Good balance there from Stewart. Yeah, he's doing very well. He, he kept that, that kick caught a lot. And he's, he's keeping on his feet, which is great to see. Mm. And there is the end of the first round that opening round going. I'm going to lean uh, the way of uh, Torelli. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the South Paul, he, he, he did well as we see him just starting off where he did in the first round. Good mm. push kicks, good good uh, catch and dumps when he gets them. Mm. And um, sharp knees, sharp punches. Good balance again from Stewart. He's definitely the one initiating more of the action, but not sure he's the one doing the effect. Yeah, both boys fairly even in the clinch. They're, mm. they're trying to get some elbows involved, mm. but it, it's the it's out of range movement as we see from the south ball here. Just picking his shots, nice timing, catching him with a bit of claret coming from Stewart's nose now. Mm. But yeah, I think one of those up elbows probably caught him. Nice body kick there from Stewart. Yeah, and his his body kicks are are good is just the timing. He mm. timed that one perfect. So we see the boys lock up again in the clinch. And and good position here for Ryan Torellini. He he likes the clinch. He's seen trying to drive that straight up the guts, oh. but it's a nice takedown there from Stewart. Yeah, and Stewart, oh, Torelli looks a bit injured. I'm not sure what happened there. Very slow to get back to his face. Yeah, and I yeah. think uh, his shoulder might have been dislocated or something went wrong there. Yeah, he, he looked like he was he was grabbing towards mm. his throat. Mm. He might have caught one on the way down, but you know, I think that is a, a good sign for Stewart though. 
you know, you saw him land on top of Torelli. Sometimes just falling onto your opponent can cause damage. Yeah, just dominance and mm. and um, and making them get up off the ground yep. again. So throw down, get up, and and you know it can take that, take it away cool. from you to see a real slow, yeah. slow get up there from Torelli. Yeah, he even used the ropes to stand back up. That is a real sign of fatigue. I think if Stewart is able to press on the gas a bit more, we could see an early stoppage. Yeah, he needs to he needs to apply more pressure because you can see how calm mm. Ryan is. He, he's very calm, even though you know he, he looks fatigued getting up. Yep. He's still sharp shots. He's not overdoing it. He's um, linked up in the clinch here. He doesn't look out of place, so bit more pressure from Jordan Stewart and, and it could unfold. Yeah, maybe potentially picking his shots a little better as well. There we had a successful grab. Stewart grabbing onto the ropes himself. I think that was more a lack of balance, a little bit of immaturity in terms of, you know, fight experience. Nearly walks straight into an elbow there, Jordan Stewart. He can't get too complacent. Driving those knees in, in the clinch. That is in a round at number two. So, a uh, real turn of events, I feel. Just getting down to a case of, you know, can Stewart come home and snatch this away? Or, or does Torelli just keep doing what he's doing? He's not looking too out of place. He's landing good shots. He's blocking well. See that jab topping up. And then Stewart straight into the clinch. Trying to wear his opponent down. He knows he's tired. Yeah, again, these short up elbows from Stewart. Torelli looking decent in the clinch, though. Oh, the hook and leg kick there. Torelli has that sort of burst of energy that you'll see a lot of times in between rounds. The fighters will come out pretty strong for about 30 seconds. Then... If there is fatigue, they'll quickly start to fade. He just seems to have his, his timing down pat. See mm. the push kick, those two kicks. Um, he, he, his fitness may be a concern, but his timing's strong mm. and, he, and he's holding on. I, I feel he's, he's just keeping a, a head in this last round. Mm. Definitely more active, although volume does not always equal effect and effective damage is what the judges are going to be looking at. Another takedown there too. Another good scoring technique from Torelli. Oh, I like these body shots from Jordan. feel like they're really going to take the gas out. And Torelli complaining about a low blow, but I'm not really sure that hit below the belt. We'll have to see a replay. But going into the neutral corner... Yeah, referee. Yeah, the referee, I think, he's he's not pulling the wool over the ref sides here. He's just got him straight back into action, and this is where Stewart needs to press. Yeah, there's no replace for these early fights, but I did not see ringside a low blow. You know, smart stalling technique though from Ryan Torelli. Yeah, definitely. He's fighting above his oh, he's above his. <laughs> His record, but uh, smart early on, as you see him. Look, and once again, he doesn't look too out of place in the clinch. Yeah. Falls he, down there, but his fatigue is definitely showing as that mouse opening wide. Yeah, and just 35 seconds left. Be interesting to see if Stewart is able to squeeze out a dominant round. Into the clinch again. Short elbows coming in from Stewart. A beautiful takedown from Stewart. Rallying home here in the last yeah. round. Corners of vocal. We're getting down to the dirty. And he's got him with another beautiful sweep there. Yeah, those no, won't necessarily score, but definitely show dominance. And I am sure we will heal, hear the bell in any second now. Beautiful, nice knee and pull down again there from Stewart. 
Yeah, showing dominance there. Jordan with his hands up. Good sportsmanship. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we head to the judges' scorecards for a decision. This is a split points decision to your winner from Blue Corner, Jordan.